Alrighty, folks, here we go with the finals of women's cricket. Looking forward to this one as Paula Murphy taking on uh, Callie West. Should be an entertaining one to say the least. We'll see how it goes here. Callie West with a big four mark to start us off. Paula with a good answer of uh, five for herself on the 19th, so 38 scored. Big hit there for Paula Murphy. She has a seven mark, closing out those 20s, and a four mark on the 19s. I think Paula is a little bit of a discrepancy here. I kind of stepped out of the booth and stepped out into the hall to kind of watch this match from afar. And it looks like maybe just a mishap on the old uh, trip 20. So it's just a single. And I think Paula is going to go ahead and tell her, hey. I think Paula's going to allow her to go ahead and throw again. Oh, yeah. Well, how about that from Paula Murphy? Honestly, how about that from Paula Murphy? Paula goes ahead and tell her, pull, her, pull your darts, re-throw that. Like, re-throw that. There's no, there's no, you, you can't, I can't blame you for missing the opportunity to go at 20s when you didn't even know you had it. So why not go for it? So that's, that's good to see from Paula Murphy. Such good sportsmanship. I mean, give her a little shout out there. Things are starting to close down in the background. Uh, what an event here. <coughs> what an event here at the Seacoast Open 2021. So 171, 136. Callie with the 18s open. Let's see if she can go at him and, and hit a triple here. Actually, just a uh, couple there for Callie. It's 228 to 190 here. Paula upset with her one, with her miss on that that one. So 266 plays 190 here. The 18s are wide open for Cali. Only coming up with 
with two though, so 40 point advantage for Paula Murphy in this race to three leg match. Paula with a big hit, four count on the 19s. Not able to produce on the 18s though. But she's got a 342 to 226 lead. A 100 plus lead here for Paula. There's a clutch triple from uh, Callie West. As she goes downstairs, tries to snag the 19s, cannot. So 399, 298, a 101 advantage. So Callie sh nods her head of approval as she knows what she's got to do here. The two trip 18s would certainly help. So Paula goes ahead and finally closes out those 18s. Something I thought she might do a little bit sooner than she did. John Bennett, yes, this is the finals of women's cricket. There's a big trip 15. Did she plow in another? No, just a five mark there for Cali West. And uh, Paula goes ahead and just one, two, three, takes out the 15s. <laughs> so Paula goes ahead and closes out those 16s just needing the bulls here she's got that 399 to 346 advantage with the 19s open Darts from Paula as she won the WDF Gold Event singles, looking for a second singles title of the weekend. We'll see if she can do it.
three single 19s. And Paula's favor here. Callie looking to attack if she can. Single 20, trying to open up the other house of the 18s. Just hitting a single. Big hit, five mark there for Paula Murphy. scored for Callie West as she makes it 160 to 133. This is going to be a gritty match. Paula averaging a 3-2 in that first one and uh, Callie averaging a 2-7 in the second or in the first leg for herself and uh, right now 3-3-3-0 for these two players. Sorry about that. Uh, checking in with uh, some of the hotel staff. Making sure we were good to uh, go on cleanup. Because unfortunately, that's part of the uh, business of running a tournament. Not only do you got to set up, but you got to tear down. And uh, both can take a little bit of time. It kind of gives one of those merp moments where... Unfortunately, just comes up with three single 18s. As she hopes for it's a women's singles cricket event. Paula Murphy winning the 3 0 match here. So that's going to do it from Seacoast Open 2021, folks. It's been an absolute pleasure to bring you this coverage. Uh,